Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a DIY summer dorm project that I found on Pinterest. I added my own spin and ideas into this DIY and I hope you guys really enjoy it. And if you guys decide to do this a DIY, let me know down below and I would love to see pictures of what you guys did. The first step you should do is a really great white canvas of any of your choosing and size. Get some painter's tape and tape a really cool design over the white canvas. Pretty much sheer liking of any design you would like. For mine, I did ram crossover lines and added smaller ones onto one side, overlapping one another. Next is the color choices. The first step is our acrylic quality, which is a brilliant red. The next one is a tempered paint in the color yellow port. I actually really love this yellow and it's actually really thin so I would recommend doing two coats of any kind of yellow you do. The next is emerald green. Crimson red. Vermilion orange. Ultramarine blue. Sorry, I cannot pronounce the next one, but I said a folly blue, which is a type of purple. And the last one is burnt umber. Next, I went ahead and added all the colors into a color palette to make it easier to choose what colors I wanted. There's no specific order. For the brush I'm using, my art teacher actually gave me this this year. It's a professional brush anyone can do, but professional is the best route. Right around the one and a half to two and a half inches. The next step is to choose whatever color you're starting out with first. Then pick a specific shape you're painting. Again, I went ahead and no exact order. There's no exact technique to follow while painting, but I usually start in the middle and work my way outward. Then even out the paint throughout. And there's the first color I applied. Now go ahead and choose your second color from your color palette. My first color was the brilliant red that I chose. Each time you're painting, you must rinse out your color from out each color. Do not mix each colors together or you will get a different color. Again, to choose any kind of color you like and rinse out your brush. The second color I'm choosing is the emerald green. Again, just choose what shape and do the same step as instructed before. Once color is even, you can now start designing your design. There is no exact color design here. If you would like to follow mine, all the colors will be listed down below in the comment section. Now for this emerald green, I would suggest to do two colors when it is dry. Any kind of color you do that is thin, I would do two coats of each. Now just go ahead and paint the rest of your canvas and do any design you like. Now that your canvas is all painted, let dry for about an hour. Come back and if another coat needs two coats, apply another coat. I suggest doing two coats on and, and, and everything except for the dark blues and reds. If needed, refill your palette of any colors you ran out of.
There is mine, now dry, and it has two second coats. Now it's time to wait and dry even more, which is the longest process. I will let you dry about one and a half hours to two. Mine is now dry and it's been about an hour and a half. I started peeling off my painter's tape. This process is slow. Some paint will leak through, unfortunately, but can be fixable. So don't worry. Go ahead and start peeling the tape away. This process is very slow and make sure you don't go fast or you can rip the paint off the canvas. Unfortunately, I tried ripping that piece off, but it didn't exactly work out, so I kind of just left it. Now go ahead and just peel the rest of your canvas. Here is my design all unpeeled, and if you have any leaking areas, you can just get some white paint and push over any leak late places with a small flat acrylic brush. If you can use any other paint, please use a different brush. Do not use acrylic paint on a different brush. Now go ahead and start trimming if necessary. If you don't have any leaking areas, that means your table is secure enough to block the area of the paint from getting onto the white. This shape or shapes has been trimmed and just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. For me, I want to run over each piece and in my painting, I like things chic and kind of straight. Again, I use a flat, smaller brush this time, which is kind of, I think, a half inch or about one inch. I'm using white acrylic paint and if you're using any other colored paints, use a different brush. And there you have it. Here's my finished design, all trimmed and ready to go. You can add cool designs inside the color pieces if you so choose. But I decided to do that off camera. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down below in the comment section. And I really hope you guys use this easy and fun DIY, summer dorm room painting. It brings a lot of color and fun to any plain room. I would love if you guys like this video and subscribe up above. If you guys felt this video was helpful and want more Pinterest ideas from me, leave a comment. But until next time, I love you guys so much and thank you guys all much for the amazing, amazing support on my last video. I reached 153 videos. I had an amazing time and please leave down below any comments and any questions. Until next time, guys, I love you guys so much and see you later. Bye.